Hi, I'm Mike Mendez, and welcome to Trailers from Hell. Director John Landis has given us some of the greatest cinematic gems of our time, Animal House, The Blues Brothers, Coming to America, and the horror classic An American Werewolf in London. He only attempted that blend of horror and comedy one other time, and that was for 1992's underappreciated Innocent Blood. So buckle up for some mobsters versus vampires, because here we go. That old black magic. Innocent Blood is one of Landis' lesser-known films, but one that has a lot of merit in its own right. The film stars Anthony LaPaglia and La Femme Nikita's Anne Period as a vampire named Marie who justifies her eating habits by only taking out bad guys. Things go awry, however, when she is not able to properly dispose of a mob boss she was feeding off of. The mob boss is played by classic tough guy Robert Loggia, who escapes determined to turn his gangster family into a mob of the undead to become the ultimate crime family. Landis does a fantastic job of blending genres in this film. Part mobster film, part vampire film, with a healthy dash of black humor just to balance it out well. One of the other standouts of the film is its remarkable cast. For one thing, it's got one of the best ensembles of classic mob tough guy actors. You got Robert Loggia, Chaz Palminteri, Kim Coates, The Sopranos' Tony Sirico, as well as legendary Don Rickles as the mob lawyer. As if that weren't enough, you get a stellar supporting lineup consisting of Angela Bassett, Luis Guzman, and Marshall Bell. But wait, there's more! Landis at that time had a very cool habit of having cameos from fellow filmmakers and genre luminaries, and this one is chock full of great cameos. Tom Tom Savini, Frank Oz, Forrest J. Ackerman, Michael Ritchie, Sam Raimi, Steve Johnson, Leah Quigley, and the great Dario Argento all make appearances in this film. There's also some great usage of classic monster movies such as Dracula and Phantom of the Rue Morgue, as well as many others. Another great standout in this film are the incredible makeup effects by Steve Johnson. Very cool glowing eye effects long before CGI was around, and an incredible death scene for Don Rickles, who smolders before your eyes after getting hit with a blast of sunlight. Also a, a healthy dose of arterial spray during the various feeding scenes. While Innocent Blood is not quite a classic like American Werewolf, it still holds its own in a very unique take on the vampire film. The movie received mixed reviews when it came out, but I think it deserves better than that and is worth another viewing. Now thanks to Warner Archives, you can do just that with a brand new Blu-ray. So grab a cannoli and some garlic and settle in for the only mobster vampire horror comedy I know of, Innocent Blood. A movie that goes straight for the jugular.